And the tech industry is a major player in our global commercial industry, and TIA's Vice President of Government Affairs is here to tell us how the outcome of the November presidential elections may affect our businesses. And Danielle, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know you're fresh off the plane from the uh, Republican National Convention in Tampa, Florida. You were able to participate for a couple days down there. Yep. Um, just want to start the show by getting your kind of overview of what you experienced down in Florida. Um, well, you know, c conventions are, are somewhat chaotic. I remember in 2008, uh, you know, it was similar with in Denver and the Twin Cities. Um, there's a lot of activity, a lot of action, people getting together, shaking hands, doing what we do, and making sure that we provided an event for our members, as well as the members, our TIA members, as well as members of Congress and their staff to be able to um, really start focusing, especially we were trying to do that in, in the Republican convention, to have a focus and a targeted event on tech and telecom and our information communications technology industry. Um, as a reminder, it's an issue that should be part of your platform. It's something you should be thinking about. It provides support. It provides innovation and competitiveness. All these things that you're saying, that's us. Um, the, event sh uh, the, the event went great. The convention um, speeches were fantastic. You know, we can talk a little bit about that and what they said in their platforms. Um, you know, we're analyzing and reviewing what it, the GOP came out with as their party platform. Um, that was just released. We knew what was going to, you know, a lot of what was going into it, but it was just finalized. So we're seeing how that weighs against where we stand on a lot of the issues and things like that and how it compares to um, what we'll soon see as the Democratic um, platform. But we know a lot from what's already taken place in, in this previous, in this in current administration. Well, speaking of the current administration, Danielle, it seems to me that the Obama administration has placed a fair amount of emphasis on the tech industry. We were just yesterday talking to Gautam Nagesh of Congressional Quarterly about PCAST, that's the President's yep. Council uh, of Advisors on Science and Technology. Um, again, uh, emphasis on the tech industry. What is the Romney administration going to do to further that? Well, that's timely that you talk to um, somebody about PCAST because um, they just released a report that had to do with Spectrum, which is one of our main issues. We saw that Spectrum was in the GOP platform, so we were happy to see that, although there's been a little bit of back backlash against um, the um, the ways in which we'd achieve our, 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 we would solve our spectrum crunch. So when you have auctions, some of the rural, um, some of the rural organizations that represent um, rural carriers, uh, manufacturers, and so forth, and communities, of course, um, they found in the past that auctions, spectrum auctions, have favored the larger carriers and have gone to more metropolitan and urban cities because there's a greater return on investment. So while there's an emphasis from the GOP and on the in, in within the platform to find federal spectrum, to find other ways in which you can um, make spectrum available or, or utilize it um, more efficiently, um, one concern for that, we were happy to see it, spectrum is spectrum, make it available and then our manufacturers build out the networks, but one of the concerns, which you know could very well be a very legitimate concern, is that the rural um, localities will um, continue to be underserved, which I do have to say this Democratic administration has, um, has focused on, and they did a lot of that um, through the stimulus and, and in other areas, served the underserved and, and um, hard to reach areas. And Danielle, I had the opportunity to watch uh, both speeches um, by Romney and uh, Paul Ryan. Uh, what were the specific topics that they touched on, uh, not only in tech, but outside of tech as well? 